It's not as bad as it sounds. 300 miles, three breweries, one tank of gas, and eight hours on a hot June Saturday? Okay, it sounds bad. But my beer buddy, who I'll call Murtaugh, and I waited at least an hour after sampling beers before we drove on to the next brewery. And we kept our bellies full of good flathead food and were otherwise responsible beer tasters. A noble sacrifice, I might add, for you, our faithful grizzly growler readers. Several weeks ago, Murtaugh and I took off for our epic beer tour. It started at Flathead Lake Brewing Company, took us through Cherry Country to Great Northern Brewing Company in Whitefish, and finally to Glacier Brewing Company in Polson. We definitely didn't sample every beer, usually just a small taste of one or two of each brewery's selection. Right. So, we have the Wild Mile Wheat, it's American Style Hunter Bison. It's um, not the it's kind of cloudy appearance. I'll tell you about it by Cassie. Yeah. Um, we're out of it. Um, it has a medium to hot flavor. Right. We got, we got one each. And it's the most perfect brown, I think, is our standard here. It's malt and pasta really bad to check out, so you get like that new like taste. Pick like where we actually won the bronze medal for at the World Cup. It's a uh, robust porter, so with like a chocolate flavor. Our new new stout, we won the silver medal for at the World Cup. Um, it's West Coast style stout. A little bit more bitter than a lot of other stout. It's not like creamy. And our Royal Imperial IPA is our newest beer. Um, it's alcohol of 8.3, so it kind of has to stop the sauce. But it uses like Indian hot. Yeah. So it's a little bit quicker than that. Does that work? But we met some nice people along the way, picked up a few growlers for the collection, and got to know some of Western Montana's best breweries. On the road for grizzlygrowler.com, this is Tim Akamoff.